YouTube is currently taking over TV, with YouTubers like MrBeast pulling over hundreds of millions of views, with totaling billions of views, YouTube is taking over TV. The Super Bowl reportedly got 112 million views this year, which is a crazy number, but if you look at a YouTuber like Mr. Beast, he alone has nearly 20 videos that pulled in more views than the Super Bowl did this year. Now that you know this, you may be wondering, why is YouTube pulling in more views than the Super Bowl? I believe there are three main reasons why YouTube is pulling in way more views than TV. The first reason is the relatability factor. The relatability factor simply means that the viewer can always find someone to connect with. If there isn't a creator for you, the algorithm just hasn't given you the right suggestion yet. There's all types of different content on YouTube. There's education content, there's entertainment-based content, and there's even content for children of all ages. If a babysitter or a parent wants to give something to keep their kid busy for a little bit, YouTube has their back. The t average TV can't provide this because they have set times that they need to play set certain shows and sure there are a lot of channels out there there's a thousand channels compared to the six that our great grandparents had back in the day but YouTube has millions if not billions you know what let's look it up how many videos are there on YouTube okay so I can't find out exactly how many videos are uploaded to YouTube total but I do see here that YouTube has 720,000 hours of videos being uploaded every single day. That's completely mind-blowing. TV plays 24 hours of content seven days a week on however many different channels are available to you. YouTube has 720,000 hours of content uploaded a day. That already blows TV out of the water and it gives the viewer options. But let's get back to my point on relatability. Let's say you're watching someone's day in the life. For me, for example, I was daily vlogging showing my life in college, where I am now, West Virginia University. I was showing uh, simply my life. It wasn't anything special. I did homework, I edited YouTube videos, and I hung out with friends sometimes. A lot of people can relate to that. There's other kids in college that are just grinding with their head down, doing their work, hanging out with friends, and you know, getting through the four years of their life to get their degree. And yeah, it's fun and all, but you know, YouTube allows somebody to see me and relate to me saying, oh, I'm doing the same thing. The relatability factor allows people to connect with their audience. TV doesn't necessarily have a relatability factor anymore. There used to be reality TV shows that people would enjoy and somewhat relate to, but over the years, they've become way too dramatic. Now you can watch shows like Big Brother, Survivor, X of The Amazing Race, etc., and see these people doing crazy competitions and winning crazy amounts of money, but in all reality, you would never be able to do something like that yourself. Whereas in a YouTube video, someone just recording their day and telling you about it, anyone can do that and everyone can relate. If I stub my toe and I talk about it on YouTube, everyone's gonna know, hey, having a stubbed toe really sucks. Like, that's just simple. That is why the relatability factor is huge in the grand scheme of YouTube. That is the first reason why YouTube is taking over TV. The second reason why YouTube is taking over TV is because YouTube is becoming more accessible by the day. YouTube is available on a phone, a laptop, a, a computer. It's, it's available anywhere. Anywhere where you have access to internet, you can go on YouTube. You just type up YouTube into the browser, whether it be Google, Firefox, Google Chrome, it doesn't matter. YouTube will be popping right up and you will have infinite amount of an infinite YouTube will pop right up and you'll have an infinite amount of content to watch. And yes, you can argue the TV technology is improving as well, but how is a 12 year old gonna go out and buy a TV? Not gonna happen. They have their TV at their house, sure. But is it more likely that a 12 year old turns on the TV to find a channel that they like to watch? Or is it more likely that a 12 year old is gonna go to YouTube and find a content creator that they like to watch? It's becoming more likely that the 12 year old who wants to watch videos is gonna go to YouTube, not the TV. When I was younger and when the generations above me were younger, we watched cartoons, we watched shows like iCarly, Victorious, Big Time Rush, 
Drake and Josh, but nowadays kids are watching YouTube and that's just how it is. It's more accessible, it's more entertaining because of the third step, which is the YouTube algorithm. The YouTube algorithm is so good and I'm gonna get into that right now, but that is the third reason why YouTube is going to take over television. The YouTube algorithm is almost perfect. It suggests the best videos for you, the most entertaining videos to you, and it gives you something that you are gonna watch. That's the whole point of this algorithm. You may ask, what is the algorithm? And how does YouTube know what videos I wanna watch? Well, when you first get on YouTube, you'll see a bunch of random videos that you may have no interest in. But as you start looking stuff up and you start watching more videos, you will realize that more videos that you're interested in will be on your recommended page. At some point, you may see too many videos on your recommended page that you wanna watch, but you don't even have enough time in the day for. The YouTube algorithm keeps you on their site or app and it keeps you watching and watching their content over and over and over again. Now I know that's kind of crazy to think about, but it's realistic. Think about any short form content platform like TikTok, Instagram Reels, YouTube Shorts. I think Facebook has one now. You're scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and next thing you know, 30 minutes have passed. That's all because of the algorithms they have set in place. Now YouTube has an algorithm on a bigger scale because they've been working on it for 10 years now. It is kind of insane, but that algorithm keeps you watching. The TV algorithm doesn't exist. They have certain shows on at certain times. You may wanna watch Family Feud, but you're not staying on the channel to see the random show that nobody's heard of after that. At the end of the day, YouTube has more options. It recommends you content that you actually want to see not some random channel on the news that shows you something that you may want to watch you may just put on and not pay attention to go on your phone and youtube gives you a relatability factor to me it seems like youtube is a no-brainer it gives you way better options and not to mention youtube's free cable you have a monthly bill for tell me what you think in the comments is YouTube gonna take over television or will television adapt? It seems like with the Fire TV, television is adapting. The Fire TV allows you to connect to Wi-Fi and have streaming services such as Netflix and Hulu. That is YouTube's biggest competitor at the moment, but otherwise, YouTube may be, in the long run, the best place to watch content. 